of all, you'll have to mind my fingertips and my fingers. They are covered in ink. Um, I've been crafting. And then I realised I forgot to do some things. Um, so, before I begin, I hope you're all on a wonderful day. Um, so, as all you know, if you hear Chris shouting and screaming, it's because uh, football is on. And he's shouting at the TV. I don't think he knows that the TV can't answer him or hear him. Um, I have told them, told him previous that the TV can't hear him. But apparently they can. And the referee can. Apparently so. Anyways, <laughs> on to my video. Um, so, I am part of a six-way swap. Um, so, the lovely Mary, she... Um, she came up with the six-way swap so the six-way swap was six ladies so there's myself mary lynn bentley lynn noakes debbie brown and josephine um and joining in now the lovely um debbie brown has had to pull out due to family issues and now debbie sweetheart if you are watching i will start by saying this I don't give to receive, never have done. I always make for um, swaps or challenges or whatever, but I never give to receive. My point being is, I know things are going on close to home at the moment with yourself. Um, and I, Debbie has done a video, so um, I don't want to dive into it too much. But there's stuff going on at home, but I want you to know that I don't want you worrying about my pages for journals. Or worrying about any happy mail because Debbie said that if the, those swaps and challenges that she couldn't do for she'd be sending happy mail out Debbie I don't want any happy mail at all from you all I'd want is one thing for you to make your own page for your journal in your own time and for you to enjoy your journal so this month I had the lovely Debbie Brown and Mary um passed the message on to say she had pulled out there was no need to carry on making for her but like i say i never give never make to receive i've never worked um on that basis at all um in fact nine times out of ten i forget that something came in through the door so i when i started the woodland i saw woodland i thought oh i'm gonna get a bit stuck like a ditch up chic i don't know how i'm gonna get on but as time sort of went by and the more I got into it because first of all I was thinking right what's woodland because I needed something to go off so I went looking on Pinterest and I went looking on YouTube and I was like what can I base woodland on I know there's like plants and leaves and uh, trees so I wanted to generally base my pages on a um, a book or a film that was woodland themed and the two themes that i could think of that were woodland was tom's midnight garden and when i mentioned it to three ladies they said no i've never heard of tom's midnight garden tom's midnight garden it's about this boy i believe he gets meningitis or chicken pox or something and he um finds this garden down the bottom of the house that he's staying at through his cousin who came to visit and it's magical things come to life and there's um ghosts that wander around a bit like harry potter but it's based around a garden so i was like yeah i want to do tom's midnight garden so i was <laughs> nagging chris because <laughs> i've got loads and loads and loads of books and one of the books i've got is tom's midnight garden book and um I asked Chris to go into the stairs to get this specific book. And he went, you are joking me. You want me to pull all those boxes out to get one book? I went, yeah, that's what I want to do. So when he was getting the one book, I went, oh, wait a minute. And I came across this. Let me show you. So, I'm going to show I came across this Beatrix Potter who I'd completely forgot about and I was like that's woodland 
that is what that's got woodlands written all over it so i opened this is a I had this from the museum oh god it's you this is years and years and years old but um i'd never this is one of the books i'd never ever cut up because i thought i don't really want to cut it up but i want to show you who my inspiration came from so in this book was obviously the stories of Beatrix Potter, um, it, Peter Rabbit, um, Jemima Puddle Ducks, um, Mr. Todd, the um, Hedgehog, which I can't think about or what her name is. So as you can imagine, there was loads of stories to go off. And then as he was digging around, he came across this book. Now I'd completely forgot I had it. It's the tale of Beatrix Potter. So this one tells her stories of Peter Rabbit, um, what the animals got up to. This is the stories that, these are these children's stories basically. These are the stories that she wrote. This is more of her biography, more than the stories. And I thought, well, now that's a clever idea. Now, I won't say all the inspiration came from these books. I've been watching the other five ladies do their pages and Mary had done an Alice in Wonderland page so I have got to do that at some point um, but Alice in Wonderland page but she didn't go down Disney she went the the real Alice and where the story had come from so keeping that in the back of my mind and I saw this book I thought well I really like the idea of to see if I can find anything that's online about Beatrix Potter and about what she did, what she got up to, where her stories came from, where they originated from. And I believe they're about 100, are they 100 years old? I can't think now. Um, but this is the story about her life, basically, what she got up to in her daily life, um, what her farm was when she... Um, moved up to the Lake District, what her parents were, and uh, her drawings, some of her drawings are in there, there's Beatrix Potter as a little girl. So anyway, that's where my inspiration came from, I thought, brilliant, that's what I'll base it around on. Now, Debbie had asked for a Woodland Journal. Now Debbie, I know you absolutely love um, mushrooms, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, because I'm, I've seen, I think I've seen two pages now with mushrooms on, two, two sets, different pages, or one set, it could be one set I'm thinking, referring back to. So I went on to Pinterest after re looking through the biography, and I had a look for, like, letters that are open to the public, they are public domain that's what that means and it open to the public and there was this one letter um that Beatrix Potter wrote herself to um Noel who helped her publish her stories so what I've done is I've taken my calligraphy pen and I've actually written this myself um, this some of the words came from some of the letters that were on Pinterest some of the words are my own um, the pictures I have drawn by hand, um, I haven't sketched them or done anything, so the letter reads, My dear Noel, I don't know what to write to you, so I shall tell you a story about four little rabbits whose names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. They lived with their mother into the sandbank under the roof, roof of the fir tree. Yours, fa uh, yours faithfully. Beatrix Potter and I've put their mother and the bottom so I sketched all these by hand and I've written that all so what I thought was um that would be nice to go off and that was basically going to be my theme for doing these pages but it hasn't turned out like I had planned and it's really funny how you plan something in your head and you think right that's what I'm going to do that's where it's going to go and then the minute you start valvaging into it and the minute you more the more you get into it the more it turns into something completely different and that is what this basically did um it was going to be a beatrix potter pages but 
it hasn't the theme hasn't run through every single page so i have um you will find in these pages there are dried pressed leaves um so i've put some pressed leaves on here some of them are crumbling which means i need to go over that with a bit of mod podge just to make sure that it stays um i've used some of my scraps that i thought blended in nicely with the woodland theme bear in mind i've never done woodland before in my life and i just thought now what what blends in nicely so the first page is nothing like the other pages so i added this i found this in my stash now this pops up this way this is done um, through napkin transfer and it feels like fabric. This is why I loved it so much. So I've popped that there because of the bird and the butterflies. And the ribbon that I have got, I don't think, brilliant colours. Oh God, the ribbon I've got, I don't think I've got to hand. It's usually around, it's usually sitting around my, the side of me. But why can't I see it? I can't see it. And it is a ribbon. And it's on a reel. I'm still looking for it. Stop looking for it. And it basically has got different words on. So this one says, The fragrance of a rose makes you, makes you a happy feeling. That's what that says. So I've done some of my uh, machine sewing in green. And then when you open it up, I did some tea dyeing on the other side. And because this kept flapping open and I thought oh, that's gonna that would drive me nuts if it wasn't tucked in I just basically put these little um, these little tags that I had now these tags literally got given to me these are the tags they got given to me about two years ago it must be two years now um, by the lovely Angie she, when she first ever sent me um when she first ever sent me a happy mail this was in one of the happy mails so i decided to use red and i just put a little few stitches there i left the hole blank in case debbie wanted to use a key ring or something to put in there so the next page is this page like i say it doesn't always it's not all all fitting with beatrice potter because as the more i got into it the more i fell in love with doing a woodland themed journal so when I open this twine, you've got to unopen this and then you've got to unopen the um, the ribbon. Otherwise, the this doesn't come out. So the twine opens that way and then this lifts up. I'll reveal what's inside there in a second. And then I have got two postcards. So this postcard came from the Netherlands and it came from the lovely... Len, who's Len's Crafty Life, I'd ordered some beautiful uh, postcards off her, and this was one of them. I need to do a video on the postcards I've uh, bought off you, actually, Len, um, because they are absolutely stunning. But I thought this was flower themed and it just tailed in nicely. Then, this postcard um, is when me and Rian went to St. Fagans last week, um, I picked up some postcards and I wanted to put a bit of um woodland theme but we we are in this journey in on these pages especially so i put this in and it's literally a postcard on the back and then this page um it's an introduction so it reads in beatrix potter's middle and old age not many people knew anything about her her name of course conjured up in enchanting childhood memories of peter rabbit tom kitten but no Jemima Pedal Duck and the rest, but she generally assumed that she hadn't been long dead. On the other hand, there was another person, a Mrs. William Heels, wife of a solicitor in the Lake District, a woman well known locally as a farm and shred publisher of land, who could be punctually outspoken at the cattle shows and sheep fires, who potted about in her home fields with a stout stick and usually in wet and windy weather, a meal snack across her shoulders. It was a fact known to remarkably few people that Beatrix Potter and Mrs. Heels were and one of the same person. This was presumably as she would have wished she had loved her life through 
three very different phrases, and her sense of personal privacy was extreme. Her childhood cannot be described as a happy, lonely dis district in a stuffy and frustrating atmosphere of a preposterous middle-class household in which almost any form of activity was frowned upon. She consoled herself with the company of small rabbits, chiefly mice and rabbits, which she loved and studied with the absorbing passion of both naturalist and an artist. I cannot rest, she wrote in a secret code journal, which she kept from her 14th to 15th year, and must draw, however poor, from however poor the result, I will do something sooner or later, as indeed she did, passing into the second phrase, only 13th and 14th years, in which her picture letters to the children of the former governess gradually developed in a series of little published masterpieces. Mrs. Tig Tiggy Winkle and the rest are pop partly fulfilled her life now that is on um that is on pinterest and it's an introduction to her biography it's not an introduction to the story it's an introduction to her biography so i thought i'd put that in and again um debbie sweetheart you can add what i want to add i've put like um green stitches in zigzag stitches some of my snippets i uh, up the top and down the bottom and then this came from a snippet roll that the lovely Belinda Coombs made me um, on one of our challenges on the group. So I thought that blended in nicely with the blues and everything. So those are my postcards. Um, right, what's in the bag? I'm gonna. Sh I'm gonna. I'm trying to think, is there anything particular? I'm gonna leave what is in the bag a secret for now but i will show you this one thing that i made um and it's a pencil drawing of mrs rabbit and she's at peter's uh, bedside with a cup um to make him feel better and on the back it reads peter was ill during the evening in consequence of overeating himself and then that flips up and it's a little envelope so i thought um, that would be really nice and originally that was going to go on the front page of the journal but like I say the more I did this pages the more it developed into something else I won't show you what's inside the bag as I really want Debbie to have a bit of a surprise um, and I think what she she love what's inside the bag anyway but I will talk you through what's on the bag so a bit of, picture of Beatrix Potter and the um, three rabbits. Obviously, Peter Rabbit isn't there. He's obviously mentioned on something else. They shouldn't be. And um, there's a piece of napkin here. These are dried petals and leaves um, that I've collected along the way and then pressed and then um, glued on there. And if Debbie feels under the flowers is the twig from the leaves. So I thought that would be really special to put on as well. So I've done all that. I've also done some stitching all the way around, well, you know, in certain places. And then this is glued at the front. But like I say, it holds all this to place. So if I flip this up, flip that down, it flips. It flips that way first, so it ties once. And then you pick up the ribbon, you tie the ribbon first. And then you would pick up the the twine and make a bow. And that's how I keep it in. So that is page two. Page three. I can actually open this now. Page three is um, a bit of a mystery. Can you all spot where the pocket is? Can anybody spot? Obviously... I can see on the camera you might be able to spot that this is loose so is the pocket there um, is it you somewhere I'll tell you see if you could have spotted it before I told you so this is made up of all different types of scraps before I put the paper down so that the scraps came over on the side um, I also used I had um, a Christmas I doubt whether I'm going to be able to find it now, but I had a Christmas um, die-cut book. 
and I bought it from the range and in there was like the acorns, the leaves, there's acorns, you, the flower, um, the bark leaves down here and I just thought it fitted in perfect for woodland. So the pocket is, I'll start off at the back first. So in the back we have, again, um, there is a pocket here, this comes out Debbie and they like you say um that's going to be kept a bit of a surprise for debbie so these i cannot whether i remember i cannot remember i cannot i cannot remember whether i made these on a video i'm sure i did or made them on a, on a live i can't remember i think i made them on a video um but they had flowers on and they seem to fit in perfect with the woodland theme and then on the back i just this is a piece of tea dyed paper flip it up and debbie's got all that space journal on and all the space on the back and it's even got a little hook on the back as well so that's there and there's other little bits and pieces on the back pocket so the next pocket and i will show you this so this flips out like so and then this comes up pull these two and then this one is a pocket by itself so it says thought of the day so my words that I've done, but I have done I have done a video on that this flips down and Debbie's got all that journaling space to journal on and I use um, whenever somebody sends me happy mail I always keep the stamps because stamps are perfect um, for journaling they're just perfect and that had a beautiful yellow rose on and I just thought yeah definitely um that had to go on there so i've put that on there the second one is just made out of pieces of scrap paper so these are my die cut are my pieces out of a die cut book that i bought on christmas time and so is this um so i just layered it laid some um fabric in between and it's just a piece where debbie can write on um so the pocket is actually here that's where the pocket is so goes over like that it is a bit tight but they do go in together and then that slips behind the buttons keeping that intact now the fourth page uh, before I get to it I had a bit of a trouble I was like now what do I put on the fourth page? Now I've done all this, what do I put on that fourth page? So with the fourth page, I've done a little bit, something a little bit different. I've done this. Now this is greaseproof paper and some dried petals. And when you feel over it, you can feel that they're dried. I've also added, lift this up, I've added three tiny little uh, leaf charms and I've sewn them, hand sewn them to this piece of scrap material so that when the book hangs, well, when the pages hang, when she's got all the pages, that'll just hang from the pages and they do hang down as well so she'll be able to see them either or. So all these are dried flowers. I've also made, because I thought woodland, you always get those seed packets um made this and again the circle was out of this pack finally used it with a bit of pink trim and a bit of uh pink trim here and on the back you've got all the journaling space now i did black as my bottom bobbin and pink as my top so that falls in there like so this flips open so on the other side you can see all the flowers now I will write on this Debbie where all those flowers came from um, just for you to know but you'll be able to write on the rest of it because um, there will be more than enough room. Again these, these just hang down really nice, these leaves. That is the thing I've just shown you and this was my last page. So this is, that is the ribbon by the way that's going across. This is made out of one of those bags that... Um, Lisa made me laugh the other night. She said you'd nab in everything. That's me. Yep, that's me. Right, so let me show you what they're made out of. So the bag is made out of this. It's 
made out one of those bags that you put vegetables in in the supermarket. Every time I go to Morrison's, Mr. Morrison man, I'm sorry, but every time I go, I always pick a bunch up to do journaling. Um, so if I turn it this way, uh, first of all, I've added a dried leaf there, so that's not going to come off. I've done a little bit of stamping, but didn't go too crazy. This is made of all different types of scraps, um, and I've just stitched it in different places. I just had fun with it, basically. So if I turn it that way, this flips up on one side. So Debbie's got all that space to journal on, and then this flips back. So it's a three-way fold. If I just take that paper clip off, and all this right in two. I also trapped some flowers and some petals and a small paper butterfly in the bottom. I didn't stitch around this, I just glued it. Um, but I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if I gave Debbie um, a piece of the bag so she can trap her own flowers in if she wanted to. Um, fresh or press, you can do it. There's another one of those um, woodland tags and it says in my heart and then in the back there's a tuck spot. So there's the tuck spot for the back and that is held on by a little paper clip um, and on the back. So that is my pages. I really do hope that your sweetheart, please, and I don't, you panic and you're sending me anything or anything like that this was made just for you to enjoy um, I had so much fun creating this with and I have started my fabric one um, it isn't finished but you can all have a peek at it I can get it off my tree okay so this is my fabric one I haven't finished it so you'll have to forgive me um, my swaps challenges you name it it's all been made this month um, and I'm trying my best to catch up so this is my started my fabric when I started this on the live last night um, I showed everybody how to create this certain page um, and today I have added to it very slightly so I will be finishing it off I did write flowers I picked and pressed then I went on a walk with my dog at our local park so in the top there is um, some dried flowers this is made out of all scraps and some funky stitches this flips up and that flips open and as you can see I've done some stamping and then I've trapped um, some lavender plant um, with some tacky it's not tacky wax tacky tape um, I don't know how long that will last I don't know whether it will last I don't know but I just thought um, I like I liked to give you a little bit of my lavender that I've been uh, spreading out everywhere and then this is all stamped I'm going to possibly leave most of all this plain for Debbie to write on and then it also comes out the other side so there's a page here there is a page a page there there's a page there's these two pages so these are going to be um, stamped um, I won't be doing much writing on because otherwise I'm taking the space away from Debbie to write on and that's going to be out hooked over like so and I also made for the journal and like I say I haven't done any of the uh, pages as of yet but I also made this now this I made on the live as well last night and this will be going with this fabric page and um, so there's the folder I've done some funky um, what do you call it, stitches this pops out um, again this is done like a collage of different things um, I was thinking more or less if I was a gardener um, and we've done it before in the past where we just picked up different ceilings I just had an idea um, different things up and we've gone right do I want this do I want that from different books and I just thought that would be perfect to go in there so I flipped that up. I have done a little bit of stamping with my um, leaf I was using last night, which is this. And I've done some old-fashioned stamping. So this is all sewn in. It's not straight. It's not supposed to be straight. On the other side, I've trapped in some more flowers. This is in the bag from the paper bag. The clear bit for the paper bag. Again, all straps of, scraps at the top. 
this flips up and then in this section I should quickly show you is a tuck spot um so there's a tuck spot there and that flips down and then that's the back of the thing so that's going to go on this on this page somewhere along the line so i have started my fabric pages this time around um i haven't as of yet done my fabric page for my shabby chic um there is no particular reason i think i'm still struggling with it which is why i haven't been i don't think i something I, I don't think anything as of yet has jumped out at me to what to make for the shabby chic fabric page um but it will get there it will get done but um yeah this it well my paper page is all done but my fabric page um yeah this is the start of it so perhaps next month when i see you all for the six way swap perhaps i'll be able to show you the end of um my fabric page for this particular thing we did have um and we did have a month on each um thing to do so this would be a month that would be a month to do um but i didn't want everybody to be waiting for me so this is why i'm sort of trying to fit everything around and um i know everybody's been really really good with me and i've had really a nice message of being to say no panic no worries about rushing it all um as long as I get one section of it done in the month. So yes, I really do hope you've really thoroughly enjoyed looking at that. Like I say, Debbie, if you are watching, please, please, please do not panic about sending me anything. Um, as I don't want anything. All I want is for you to completely and utterly enjoy these pages. And when you do receive um, the pages that when you put your journal finally together, um, you will have something really nice to write in um so yeah i thought i would i thought i would explain where my inspiration come from so i really do hope you enjoyed everything and i will um see you all in my next video take care bye ladies bye for now bye